All right, so what I've done is I've planed them to a strong three quarters of an inch, all my boards at the same time so that they're all the same thickness. Okay? And that'll make it easier for when it comes time to gluing and doing the final um, hand planing. And what I was hoping for when I was planing is that I was hoping to get rid of material uh, or surfaces such as like this, where it was warped, and also something here on the side. And actually what this is, you can see that it goes all the way through. And I wasn't able to get rid of that. So what I did, and what you are going to end up doing, just like we do square for regular uh, saw material, is you joint your best edge. Okay, so this was my best edge. I kind of had to compensate here because there's a knot on this side. But on this board, I jointed my best edge. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it over to the table saw and then rip it to width. Now, I want to make sure that I don't rip too much off so that, again, I can maintain that final thickness of one inch overhang width-wise. I'm still good lengthwise. I don't need to do any adjustments for that. And again, remember when you deal with solid material, it's thickness, width, and then last you deal with length. length. So what I've done is I just went ahead and I kind of tested this out. So I laid it out like oh, if I was to lay this board here on the edge. If I were to cut that out, I laid it almost flush about with a quarter inch overhang. And then I put my defect on this side. And I can see that I still, if I were to end up making this cut, I would still have more than an inch of overhang to deal with. Okay. So what I'm going to do, like I said, is I'll take this over to the table saw, and I'll end up putting my edge that I just jointed against the fence, and I'm going to rip these to the narrowest width possible, or the widest width possible, while still getting rid of all the defects.